Hey guys, this is uh, T Big Man over here at TechnoThings.com, and today we're going to talk a little bit about the new version of Linux Mint 8 that recently came out. Now I went ahead and I installed Linux Mint 8 in a dual boot environment with Windows 7. And one of the first things that I wanted to change was the um, the default uh, operating system choice in the Grub uh, bootloader. And I'm going to switch over to my desktop and show you what I'm talking about. Now here is a screenshot of the uh, new Grub version 1.97 beta 4 Grub bootloader that came with it. And the highlighted option right here is the uh, Linux Mint 8 Helena or Helena I'm not really too sure on the pronunciation of that yet and you can see down here Windows 7 loader uh, that's gonna load my Windows 7 environment now I like I don't like it to default to Linux because I don't use it uh, all the time I want it to default to Windows and normally let me bring it up here um, that was a simple process of going into uh, terminal and finding um, the uh, boot grub directory and then editing a file called menu.lst but guess what there's no menu lst anymore so go ahead and close out a terminal this is what you're going to want to do to accomplish this task you close out a terminal then you open up your package manager shouldn't take too long a little slower because I'm on a virtual session and you're going to search for start spelled thusly up manager start up manager and there it is right there now I've already I've already installed it to save time for the video but it was a simple install you just highlight it you know select it to install install its dependencies and and then click apply and you're done okay once it's installed you can get to it and in the uh, control center okay and it's called lo and behold if I can find it start up manager okay just go ahead and, and run it it scans the environment to see what's there and then it will present you with a nice graphical interface uh, giving you the timeout in seconds which I don't like to wait 10 seconds so I'm going to lower that down to 5 and then the default operating system um, you just pick the one you want and in this case I want Windows 7 or whichever one you prefer um, and then you click on close let it do its uh, post configuration tasks uh, go ahead and close out of it and then we're gonna reboot and I'm gonna show you how simple that was just click on restart and now you're gonna see when it comes up with the group the grub boot loader menu the default choice will be the Windows 7 bootloader and it will have a timeout of five seconds and any second now the lights blinking remember virtual session not as fast as a real one there it is check it out Windows 7 loader five seconds and now it's booting so if you're like me and you've encountered that issue now you know exactly what you need to do to fix it and um, hey you know hey you're gonna be uh, dual booting your your Windows and your Linux Mint 8 and everybody's gonna be happy and it's gonna be great until next time this is T Big Man from TechnAllThings.com saying Oh, yeah!